So the next thing I kind of want to bundle together is how in the hell is McFarlane getting away? And I'm pretty sure there's an actual answer. I'm not saying I'm not asking that uh, superfluously. I'm actually I'm legitimately curious how he's able to get away with this, and I'm glad that he is to an extent. How he's getting away with some of these figures being having you know weapons and and things like that. And it has to be more than just a simple 17 plus not a toy label. Like the Joker 2019 double pack or set or whatever you want to call it. He says that this has been given an update except I don't see the update. I don't know. Do you guys see the update? Because it says sample not final, product render not final. It looks like... The Joker is actual is an actual figure now. Because I saw this get revealed at the actual San Diego Comic Con. Because I was in the audience when he was doing the panel. If I remember correctly. Everything that you see before you here was a 3D render. At that time. Now though it looks like both the set and Joker are actual figures. They're still samples. But they're actual figures. They look like they were actually 3D printed. Whereas Murray... Is still a render. That's why it says product render not final. But yeah. It's interesting that on it. He also has this new label. That didn't appear at Comic Con. Which was the 17 plus not a toy. Which probably means that this is not going to be sold. At Target or Walmart. This is probably going to be either a McFarlane toy store exclusive. Or it's going to be an MTS exclusive. And then maybe Target. I mean I'm sorry. Um, BBTS and Entertainment Earth. And that'll be all. Did you see Joker 2? Nope. Let's just say word of mouth got to me quicker than me being able to go see the movie in terms of scheduling. And eventually, of course, when I opened up either Instagram or Twitter, I got spoiled. But I got to be honest, wasn't all that mad. I was like, you know what? Save 60 bucks. And because of how even I felt about not even seeing Joker 2 and not even bothering to go see it, which then, you know, Results in the movie getting, you know, bombing and not making it, barely making its money back globally. Which, you know, we can all throw out the theories as to why that was, if it was done on purpose, by the director, etc. But this puts into question how much of this McFarlane is going to make. Because I got to be honest, I got to be honest. McFarlane, Todd, Todd himself was kind of gassing up Joker quite an awful lot to the release of not just this, or to the reveal of this, but also every time he talks about Spawn, the movie, and how it's being written, and the fact that it's going for the R rating, and how he kept saying that this was going to make a lot of money because the first one was going to make a lot of money, and now we're like, that didn't age well. (laughs) So it makes me wonder how the distribution of this set is going to be limited quantities really high price and definitely no more uh, no other things being made beyond this i really doubt he's going to make anything else from the joaquin phoenix joker beyond this this leads me to the other interesting reveal that i looked at and went yo this is interesting this is neat something that i never thought i would see the light of day again Considering the controversy. Considering that for a while it was this figure that gave me my most viewed video on the channel before getting dethroned by the uh, Cross the Spider-Verse Marvel Legends vs. Figure Arts comparison. But for a while this was my most viewed video because I was tackling the nature of Warner Brothers coming in and saying you can't include this with certain Batman figures. But prior to that ban, McFarlane was able to dish out a Thomas Wayne figure. And now it's coming back. It's coming back. Thomas Wayne. It looks like he's now got a brand new head sculpt with him smiling. But Thomas Wayne. Flashpoint Batman. With an alternate unmasked head sculpt. With the hair. And a regular neutral face. But there's those two guns. He still has the pistols. They're not pulling off a red hood. He's actually gonna have the pistols. Even people in the in the 
comments. And I'm wondering if the reason for why he gets away with that is because now he's stamping the 17 plus not a toy, even though the company's called McFarlane Toys. 17 plus not a toy label. Now, the only bummer, and maybe this is the uh, catch. You could argue this is the catch, and got to be honest, I'm not sure if I'm a fan of this catch is that this is still not going to be a standalone release. He's going to be included with the Zoom Flash figure, or Zoom figure, with the alternate weird screaming head sculpt. But it's going to be a double pack. It looks like they're going to be using the same body. It might be just a reissue. And like I said, the catch it, there's two catches. One, he's got a cowled smiling head, from what I can tell. And he's going to be bundled with the Flash. So if you're able to look past those two for lack of a better term, discrepancies, you get yourself another chance of getting the Thomas Wayne without having to pay scalper prices for its singular release prior to the uh, WB ban. So, seeing this, I'm thinking to myself, what else can McFarlane now do as long as they put this little label saying 17 plus, not a toy? If they can do that, so what's coming down the pipeline? You know, what can they finally tackle that they felt kind of limited by in years past. What do you guys think? Now they can make a dead shot. CM Brog, you have a point. An accurate dead shot. An accurate red hood. An accurate red hood. Instead of this. What the f is this?